hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to film a video on my natural hair journey and just kind of how uh, i decided to start my channel so if you're interested in seeing that keep watching i am going to keep this area here uh open so that i can put uh pictures and all of that in there so that's why there's all this space here all right so let's get into it so if you didn't know i am african i was born in ghana but i'm liberian <clears throat> Yes, bitch. So, are you Guinean or Liberian? <laughs> I'm Liberian, guys. I was just born in Ghana, okay? Um, you know, like, growing up, we didn't really, like, know how to take care of hair. It was, um, obviously, a lot of perms, uh, a lot of hot combs, not the, like, electric ones, but the ones that, like, that has the little, like, oven, and then you, like, put the, the comb in there, and it, like, you know it comes out like super straight so that was pretty much my childhood and we used to wear a lot of um like for church and stuff we would put our hair in those little like bobbleheads things so my mom would like part it in these big parts and then put like a rubber band around it and then like braid it and put like the little bobbles around it pretty much when i got to high school that's kind of when the whole natural hair movement thing started happening on youtube and everything and my best friend at the time, she decided that she was gonna go natural. She was gonna stop perming her hair or straightening her hair and all of that other stuff. And so I kind of like followed along and decided to stop perming my hair. But when I stopped perming my hair, I wasn't like taking care of my hair or anything. I just kind of like went to wearing wigs and I kind of thought that's all there was to being natural. Okay, so. I have my phone in my hand here just to kind of look at the pictures to keep me <laughs> to keep me on track because I would basically wear these like super big poofy curly hair wigs that like I loved and even with my wigs I was using leave out like I had all this in front of it to make it blend in with the curly hair and I had to like straighten my hair a lot to get it to blend to get it to match and like I would notice my hair, uh, like my hairline would start thinning and like getting, you know, receding. And then I would put like box braids in, for example, to like help my edges grow back a little bit. And then I would go right back to doing the same thing. It was just kind of like this vicious cycle and just like not really paying attention to my hair, just doing whatever to it, not really caring and basically saying that like, oh, I'm natural, which basically meant like, I haven't permed my hair and that's it pretty much like no actually not actually doing any of the things that it takes to be natural and to take care of your hair um and then when i moved to new york in 2013 after high school um my hair care regimen got even worse i know i didn't even think it could get worse but i'd go to work from like 7 to 4 4 35 and then i'd go to class from 5 to nine o'clock and then I wouldn't get home until like freaking almost 12 o'clock during the weekdays and if you're going natural of course you watch all the videos all the tutorials and it is a lot of work it is like so much work that like I was like I give up I was just like you know what out of sight out of mind I'm not thinking about my hair I don't care what's going on with it my hair care regimen just got even worse again my hair is super dry my scalp is super itchy to the point where it would, like hurt whenever I like scratched it or touched it or anything like that and it was so bad but like I didn't think anything was wrong I just kind of like kept going and doing the same thing over and over the wigs for me like kind of made it easier because I didn't have to think about my hair anymore it was just like okay put another wig on put the cornrows in and, and like keep it pushing um and that was kind of like not the way you're supposed to you're not supposed to do that and so then in 2015 that was when like silver hair and everything was like trendy and i wanted a silver i wanted silver hair but of course i wasn't gonna i wasn't gonna do my own hair you know with it and so i found a wig and it was so cute it was 
it was so cute guys let me show you guys the picture it was so nice and like I just wanted it to look perfect and like real as possible and it was straight to it wasn't curly so I wasn't gonna get away with like my hair you know um, curling up in the middle of the day or whatever like I had been getting away with with my curly wigs and I came up with this genius idea <laughs> I cannot <laughs> I came up with this genius idea that I was straightening my hair so much I was hot combing it and straightening it so much that it was breaking my edges was like non-existent my edges was going back um, and my hair was being damaged so if I permed my hair then I wouldn't have to straighten it anymore cuz it would be straight it would be like already it'd be okay so and it made a lot of sense in my head too cuz it's like okay your hair is curly you're straightening it every day it's breaking off it's burning off so if it's already straight then you don't have to do that every day your hair is just normal so I went to I went to my friend down the hall, my best friend. I was like, Thea, I need you to perm my hair. And she was like, no, don't do it. And my friend, all my friends were like, no, don't do it. And I was like, listen, guys, I know what I'm doing. I got this. So she permed my hair reluctantly. And y'all, when I tell y'all, I did not even think my hair was growing. This is my hair in 2015 in its like normal blown out state, right? It was just it was just hard and knotted and I would comb my hair and I'd be sitting in pools of like hair. Like my hair just coming out. And I, I honestly thought it was normal. I was like, oh, this is just my hair shedding and whatnot. And when she permed my hair, y'all, this was my hair. I never, ever, 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 ever seen my hair go longer than like here, maybe like here in my whole life. So the fact that my hair was like past my shoulder, I was like, what? Are you serious? I could not believe my hair actually grew. And in that moment, I knew I f***ed up. I knew that I had basically just messed up all this growth and my hair just because I wanted to wear a silver wig. <laughs> but I'm not the type to like linger on something that's already done. It's like, oh, it's over. I made that mistake. So let me just move on from it. And in a way, I'm kind of glad I permed my hair because it showed me that my hair grew. It showed me that my hair was actually growing. And so when I permed it and I saw the length, that just motivated me to actually take care of my hair because even with the perm, it wasn't as strong. It wasn't like as strong as some of the other girls that I've seen when they straighten their hair and how thick and luxurious their hair is. And that's honestly because, yeah, my hair was growing, but my hair was also like not being moisturized. It had no moisture in it. It wasn't nourished, it wasn't healthy. And so my growth, while there was growth, it was thin and it was brittle. And so that's kind of when I decided that I was actually going to start taking care of my hair and that I was actually gonna do this natural thing. I didn't think I was gonna be doing my YouTube channel so I didn't really like document a lot of it to show you guys the pictures, but um, I let the perm grow out a little bit. I attempted to wear my hair like out natural and it's like perm state. But again, like that's just not me and that's not who I am and that's perfectly fine. There are different types of naturalistas. There are people who go natural and they have no problems wearing their natural hair out. I just don't have the time for that and there are plenty of girls like me out there who, yes, we wanna be natural, but we also want it to work with our schedules and like basically our lifestyle and so i let all of the perm grow out and this took me up to like last year and my hair grew it was like 
not as long as before but it was still like thick and um, better than what it used to be I basically came to the conclusion that like you know what I'm taking care of my hair but I want to take care of my hair even better like I want to do this like every single week I want to wash my hair I want to deep condition my hair I want to treat it because while wigs and weaves and braids and all of this stuff is like fun for me I don't want to become dependent on it for the rest of my life I want to be able to like wake up and wear my natural hair out and that's ultimately why I went natural in the first place and so if it required me to you know make the time for it then I was going to be committed to making the time for it plus I graduated so now I had more time now when I decided to do this I was washing my hair every single week and um, deep conditioning and taking care of it and there were still like some parts of it that I don't know just weren't as soft as like my new growth was <laughs> I was cutting my split ends and I don't know my hands got tired I was just frustrated with I don't know I don't know what it was I just took the scissors and I just started chopping I was like you know what maybe I could rock a tapered shortcut curly look but I just kept chopping until it was like super low and until like my um my wide tooth comb could go through all of it without snagging basically which is what i was like really frustrated with <laughs> kind of regret it a little bit like a little little bit but you know what like where my hair is now i'm grateful and thankful that i did that because i'm just so much more focused on my hair growing and actually if you watch my earlier videos when I started my YouTube channel this was in like November December and I was still like flat ironing a little bit saw my hairstyles um, that was when I really started like wearing my wig to completely cover up my um, my edges but come like end of the year like now you will not catch me with anything left out in the front. And I'm going to film a video on how I put on my wigs without any leave out whatsoever. But you will not catch me with any heat, any hot comb, any flat irons, any anything next to my hair anymore. My scalp is not as itchy as it used to be. And the second I feel an itch in my hair, which is usually after a week, which is why I wash my hair every week, the second I feel that itch, I will like wash my hair. Yeah, so I actually had a wash day yesterday and this is the length my hair is at now and it's like <laughs> a cute little fro, guys, because I cut it again. I actually cut it uh last week i cut it again last week because i just i don't know i just get frustrated and i just take scissors and i just chop so i'm gonna stop doing that uh stretched out it's like here on my nose and in the back it goes down to my neck whereas like when i had perm my hair the last time it was like here um but it wasn't strong it wasn't healthy and so it was thin so i'm trying to get everything to grow and be healthy at the same time at the same length and that's kind of why I keep cutting it randomly and like restarting this journey over. But I will be posting more videos kind of showing you guys what I'm doing, the products I'm using, um, and just basically how I am taking care of my hair. While at the same time showing you guys cool, awesome wigs to try depending on what type of hairstyles you like, you prefer. And yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys if you like it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content from me and i will see you guys in my next video bye you're making me nervous